This video is brought to you by Arma, who provides top quality supplements to athletes of all kinds. Riders like Nick Way, Chad Reed, Jeremy McGrath use them for pre, during, and post activity applications. Be sure to head to armasport.com and use the code RACERX, that's R A C E R X, no spaces, for 20% off your first order. Hey, Dirtback fans, I'm Chris Kiefer. This is RacerX Films, racerxonline.com. We are at Glen Helen Raceway. It's a Thursday, it's outdoor season, so you know what that is like. Lots of people riding, lots of fast dudes, very fun today. And you might have checked out our YZ450F GYTR video. Well, this YZ250F, that's right, GYTR makes a pretty, <laughs> pretty good engine right here. I was, uh, I, I'm not a 250F guy, let's face it. I'm 43 years old. I want to lug, I want to be lazy, but this thing has impressed me. Now, I want to touch on a, on a couple things here. Yamaha may not have the best race results in Supercross this year. And you might hear some rumblings on the message boards and blah, blah, blah. But man, they have the two probably, if not the best production motorcycles out there for most of consumers. Easy to ride, lots of torque. Lots of engine, fun. That's what you want as a rider. Well, again, you might be saying, Kiefer, I'm good. Why is it 250F? I don't need any more power. Well, if you do, and if you're rebuilding your bike, look into the GYTR engine package. It comes with a complete head. That's right, valves, everything inside the head, cams, and you can even put a high compression piston in this thing. GYTR makes it. What I do like about this engine compared to stock engine. So stock engine to me has a lot of torque, but it's really short in third gear. I was like, man, I feel like I'm going from second, third for a short amount of time, and then I'm in fourth gear, at least here. And then when I go to tight tracks, I'm trying to use third gear more, and it just doesn't have that recovery that I need for my riding style. If you're a vet rider, you can kind of understand. What this head does for me, it frees it up. I don't have as much decel braking. Second thing that I liked, it has more pulling power from second and third gear. So third gear is stretched longer. I can use it more. The third thing that I like about this thing, it has more recovery. So if I am in third gear and I want to be lazy late in my moto, this has enough torque and meat to pull me out of that corner and up a hill. Very impressive. As you guys know, these things sound unique. Very deep, very throaty, not like star Yamaha throaty, but nonetheless, FMF, GYTR work together to get a pipe. This is a full system. Sounds very meaty, very throaty. So if you're a vet guy, you want to be lazy, you don't want as much power as a 450F, man, bolt this GYTR head on your 250F. And I'm telling you guys, second gear starts, not a problem. Getting out, out of the gate in front of 450F is not a problem. I had a bike here, back to back it with the stock bike and this bike, and there's a big difference. So that two grand that you're spending, it really shows up very heavily in corners out of corners and just gives you more torque that's what we that's what we all want yes we want to rev it out a little bit but we need torque we need the meat we want a short shift that's if you guys watch these pros that's what they're all about they short shift and especially the good guys like you watch these star yamaha guys they have a lot of torque similar feeling to this gytr head so just like the 450f they make little bits and pieces as well clutch complete they got an inner outer and of course pressure plate and the cover they sell complete clutch kits so if you guys are looking for fiber steels they sell that and little things like levers of course an fmf gytr pipe skid plate little bits and pieces like axle blocks as far as manufacturers having accessories yamaha does it i think the best as far as having the most to offer for their motocross and off-road machines the only one that really rivals them is husqvarna and ktm so very cool engine pieces on this that i really like and it makes this 250F fun. I even had my 14 year old son ride it. He doesn't weigh that much. What we call him at the house DNR, I'll let you guys figure that out, but 120 pounds, not a, not a big dude, but really makes it fun for him to ride. Easy to ride, smooth. So for me, vet guy, small guy, really fun bike to ride. So stay tuned to racerxonline.com for more information. 
And of course, if you guys have any questions, you can hit me up, Chris at KieferInkTesting.com. I'll help you out with those. Hopefully we'll see you on the next go around. Not too long now, next week, 21's come out. Stay tuned.